to my channel, Vibe Night the Dark underscore with Mo. And if you're new to my channel, how about hit that subscribe button? And if you're a returning subscriber, how about send it to a family or friend so they can vibe out with us? Okay, so tonight I got two topics that I want to get into. Um, the first one is going to be about Young Miami and her thoughts on getting married. And the second one is going to be about Jania Michelle. If y'all not, if y'all have not heard who she is, or if y'all don't know who she is, she's um, one of the baby mothers of NBA Young Boy, but she's pregnant again also. Okay, so Young Miami went live after her Roller Loud concert in California, and she was, like I say, on live, and she was looking in the comment section, and she had a question that asked her how she feel about marriage or would she ever get married something along those lines so she gave her thoughts on um and her opinion on marriage and she feel like she don't ever want to get married i'll play y'all the video so y'all can see for yourself what exactly she said but she had like kind of like mixed emotions and reviews on what she said you had some people like blaming her like being a city girl and like the situation with her and diddy and she don't have the mindset for marriage and some people will say that they agree with her. So like I said, I'm going to play y'all the video and I'm going to read y'all some of the comments. What people had to say about it. And y'all leave me your thoughts in, in the comment section of what y'all feel about the situation. I kind of understand. But it is what it is. I don't want to get married because I feel like men are not faithful and if i can't marry that means i'm giving my life away to you so that means like i want to be with you for the rest of my life and if i take everything personal that's for one so if i'm with you and you step out on me and you you know like i'm never going to forgive you i might break i might no forgive but don't forget okay i'm not going to forgive you i would never forget forget and i just feel like if my husband cheat on me i'm going to kill him like I'm gonna bury you for real because like now you embarrass me I'm hurt I'm never gonna get over it and like now I can never look at you the same so no I okay one comment to say her current mindset is the reason why she can't even see marriage is all negative manifestation is a real thing and so far what she has manifested is a result of what she thinks about daily do the self work and stay positive and everything else will work itself out but the easy thing for women to do these days is to assume every man gonna do you wrong so that doesn't have to look within. Melanin Melanin said, ladies, don't be so quick to judge her opinion. How many times you was out minding your good and god dang business and married men approaches you? Uh-uh. It's just too many married men out here on mass. And before you be so quick to shout, not my man, he faithful. Sis, are you 100% sure? Because it can be the littlest attention your man get and he real in. No matter if you give him 10,000% at home and outside of home, just be prepared not to get so comfortable. Another commenter said, I don't think she expects to get married. That's the point y'all aren't getting, but go off, sis. Because society has this whole idea that women want to be married and just be good, obedient women when men can do whatever they want. She's literally saying in this video why she does not want to get married. And why she isn't in a serious relationship. Because men don't take these things seriously. Okay guys, so let me know what y'all think about that. And I'll move on to the next topic. Okay, like I said earlier, Jania Michelle is the second topic. If you don't know Jania Michelle, she is the baby mother of NBA Youngboy. And she now goes with, I don't even want to botch his name. But I think it's Javante. Or Javante. He's a basketball player. I don't want to like mess his name up. Which I already said it, but... I don't know his name for sure, but anyway, she's dated him and she's pregnant again and she took to her life. I guess she getting tired of people like bashing her body. So she went on live and took a front like everybody who has something to say about her body. Now she did get a uh, BBL before she get surgeries before she, uh, if you follow her on YouTube, you will see that she was no stranger to telling you what she had done. But a lot of people like it's talking about how she spread it. So y'all take a look at that video too and let me know what y'all think like people comment on my body oh your body looks bad oh you had surgery so your body looks horrible number one i'm eight months pregnant 
that's number one number two i can't control how my body spread so pointing out that my body is bigger of course i know my body is bigger i gotta buy my pants bigger i gotta buy my clothes bigger i know my body is big but pointing it out is like so rude like it's just so rude when i have my baby i'm gonna go back to being a normal size but i just don't understand what's the point like that's like me getting on here saying you're ugly you can't fix the fact that you're ugly my body gonna go back to being normal but you gonna forever be ugly so it's just best not to say nothing and just like respect the fact that i am pregnant and yeah that's just what it is okay bye Okay, so um, my thoughts on both of these situations, like I always said, if you um, watch my video, like if this is not your first time watching, you know how I feel about everything. People go to deep in other people's lives. I feel like it don't matter. Whatever people feel, that's what they feel. Let them do what they want to do. What they do do not affect nobody else, me or you. So I just feel like everybody needs money on business. Like people invest too much of their feelings and time in other people's business. If young Miami don't want to get married, that's her. It's a big, it's no big deal. And if Jania Michelle, I mean, if her body's spreading, what is that doing to anybody else? That's her body. Who cares? I just that that really irks my nerves that people just be so invested in other people. And then I know people would say like, well, you put yourself out there on social media to get like some of the some of the comments that people be giving. Yeah, that's true. You do put yourself out there, so you should be able to um, accept whatever come at you. But also, we as humans need to not have to type everything that we're thinking, like, or even say everything that you're thinking, like, even in every day to day life. You know, you got some people just always feel like they want to speak their mind. You don't always have to speak your mind, like, you don't. It's okay to just like not say nothing. Because it don't matter either way. But anyway, you guys, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to reach a 1,000 subscribers before the, um, the year out. I know we're just starting in the year, but I'm at like 700 or something. I know I'm going to get it before the year out. But please uh, help with that. See y'all in the next video. Bye.